Welcome back, Golfing the Tri-State. Tip of the week with Jeff Howerton, PGA Pro, City Champ, 82 and 83. And short chips, buddy, help me. Short I need chips. help. Well, I tell you what, a lot of people do on this short pitch shot around the green. Yeah, it's yeah. hard. It really so, is. We're so here on the 18th okay. green. We're here on the 18th green, Joe, and i tell you what we'll do. I'm going to show you how to hit a very, very successful pitch shot up to that pin. We have about, oh, 12 to 15 feet of rough and then fringe to deal with. And then from the green start to the pin, we have about another 15 feet. So it's, it's kind of a del delicate shot, and you said you're long a lot. I'm long a lot. Okay. Well, I take the low approach quite right, a bit. Right, right. This particular shot, it is a little bit uphill. So what we're going to do, we're going to use the terrain. We're going to use that bank a little bit for you. Plus, okay. we're going to make sure you use the correct club, which is a more lofty club on this shot. Okay. okay. It's going to keep your ball more controlled. It's not going to let you get away. It's not going to let you get away from it. Okay. Great, great. So what we'll do. So how do we start? Here's how we start. You want to go in here or you want me to go in? Yeah, you go in. Show, go show in? me first. Okay, I'm going to show you. Okay. Okay. Step over here and while I'll show you, Joe. Okay. Is the key is to point out or, or point to yourself where you'd like your ball to land, okay? And I'm looking at that little spot right on the green, about two feet onto the green, okay? Right. I see That's it. important because where your ball lands, it, it depends on where it hits, where it rolls out, and, and that's, that's your distance portion of it, okay? Now, we're going to utilize the loft of this club, okay? It's going to put a little bit more spin on it, okay? Right. So what we want to do is we want to set this sand wedge down. I'm looking at that spot on the green. It's about two feet on the green, okay? You have it pretty open. Pretty open. My stance is pretty open, okay? My okay. blade is going to actually be square to where I want the ball to land, okay? I don't need to open my blade on this shot, okay? Okay, okay so I want it square, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I keep my hand slightly ahead of the ball all the way through the shot. We do not need wrists. Right. That's probably where you've been going wrong a little bit also is a lot of people I see tend to want to flip their wrists over, okay? Right. That takes the golf club and has it pointing all over the place, okay? We want okay. this club leaning towards the flag stick or towards the hole, okay? okay. And we want to keep it that way all the way through this shot. You hit it perfectly right where you okay. wanted. Nice shot. So if you knock it up there a couple of feet, you're nice. going to make a lot of those. Okay? That's a fast green, too. It's fast green. Now, Sounds if you great. notice, Joe, that's a pretty simple shot. Right. Pretty simple shot. You don't need to flick it. You don't need to do it up like that or put a spin on it or anything. We're using this hill to grab and let it roll out. Okay, you want right. to try it yet? Okay, I'll try one. You try one. Okay. Just a so little bit open. Yeah, a little open. Just slightly open. Okay, we're going to yeah. have the club tilted that way, good. A little forward about press. right here. Not too much forward press. Not about too right much. There. No. Okay. Now I want you to really focus on where you want your ball to land, okay? okay. I'm going to try the same target as you. Sure. A little short. A little short, but not bad. Not yeah. bad. Okay. About four or five feet. Want to nice. try one more? Sure. Try one more. Try one more. Sure. Now, you missed your target on landing about maybe three feet, and that's where you'd be right by the cup if you Right. So this time, let's let that ball land where you want it to land. Okay. Much better. That's closer. Now, look at there. See, you knock it up two feet, three feet, and you're going to make it. Not too that. bad, buddy. You're going to make it. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. I need you as my coach for the senior. <laughs> we would can you, do would that. you caddy? I'll, I'll caddy for you. <laughs> okay. Now I'm pretty pricey. No. <laughs> so a little no. bit of a forward press. Yeah, just slightly. 56 degree, which I have, and that's what you is have. A good, is a good. And the key is where you want your ball to land on that green. If you notice, if, if you land it at a certain spot, it's going to hit, grab, and roll out about the right amount every time. And right. You don't need to get it up in the air. You don't need to punch it low. And you want to land it on the green. And let the hill take care of it. Let the hill do it. Yes. And absolutely. on courses around here, that's the, it's, it's really the best shot. Valuable. Yeah, it's a valuable shot yeah. to know. Well, thank you very yes, much. Yes, sir. My pleasure. You're awesome. My pleasure. We're going to be back with Jeff Howerton here at Sultan's Run. We're going to play Joe's Scorecard in a little while, too, on hole 18, right here where we are. But we're, it's all the way across the water, right, Jeff? Yeah, you can't see the tee. You can't even see the tee. You have about to. 60 feet up in the air, way up in that one. It'll be awesome. Yeah, it'll be nice. Fantastic. It'll be fun. Back with Jeff again here at Sultan's Run on Golfing the Tri-State. Hold on. Stay there.